today we are going to be doing some sculpting. Now, if we were in the classroom, we would be using natural clay that comes from the earth. Uh, but we are not in the classroom, we're home, and you should have a package that looks like this that you got with your supplies, or you might have gotten some Play-Doh. So this is called Model Magic, and Model Magic and Play-Doh are more of a dough that are made by people, and they're made to sculpt with, and they're soft, and they're fun. And so the good news is we get to use this and I am going to give you some suggestions and I'm going to let you decide exactly what you want to do. On the right hand side, you will see some suggestions that I wrote down. If a parent or a caregiver wants to read those, uh, you can get some more ideas that way. And then below that, if you really like sculpting and you want to do more, there are two recipes for uh, doughs that you can make that after you're done sculpting with it, you can actually eat. And there are more recipes that you can find if you do a quick search online. Uh, so you don't even really have to go to the store and buy any a clay or a dough to sculpt with. But let's crack this open and I'm gonna give you some ideas and then you can have some fun. So when we open this up, I'm just gonna pull it apart and unwrap it. Okay, and it, it's sort of soft and squishy. Okay, so you can sort of squeeze it. I'm gonna lift up my little thing here so you can see a little better what I'm doing. All right, so you don't have to use all of it at once. I'm just gonna take a little bit and take it apart. And now I'm going to roll it. So if you give it a little squeeze before you start rolling, that helps make the shape. And then I can start rolling it out. And as I roll, if I sort of stretch my hands outwards, it gets longer and it gets skinnier. Okay. And then if you want it to, you can make a little snake. So I'm just going to make the tail a little bit skinnier. And I've got a few tools here. So there's my snake. I've got a skewer and a chopstick and a fork. So you don't need to go out and buy special tools. You probably have things at home that you can use for sculpting. So with this little skewer, I could sort of poke a couple of holes in there for eyes. And I could sort of push it in there and make a little mouth. If you can see my little snake face. Okay, so that's idea number one. Now, if we were in the classroom, what we, we would be making is something called a pinch pot. Who knows, we may get to do it this year or maybe not, but we we'll make pinch pots again later in first and second grade, so you get to make one if you don't make one this year. To make a pinch pot, you just take your thumb and push it into the clay like that. And then you, you do a motion like this. And then you pinch and turn and pinch and turn and pinch and turn. And then you form a little pot. And you can make a lid for it if you want. Now some other things you can do. I have my fork here. You're probably wondering why do I have a fork? This is not edible clay, so we're not gonna eat this clay. But you can press the fork into the clay and create an impression. So you can see now I just made some little stripes on my little pinch pot just by pressing that fork. Or if I do it this way, I've got 
connect some dots. So you might want to think about what sorts of things you have in your house that you could use to press into that clay and make an impression. So right now I'm flattening it out like a cookie. And I'm noticing I have some pens over here and the back of that pen has an interesting texture. I could just go in and poke and make an impression that way. After doing that, I realize it sort of looks like a face. And I could sculpt a little face. So I'm gonna just use my fingers and I can pinch out to make a nose and push in to make a mouth. And I'm going to use that pen cap to make eyes. And now I've made a little face. So there's lots of possibilities uh, with this clay. And one nice thing about this clay, it is a little softer than the earth clay that we use. So it shouldn't be too difficult to work with. Now, it will start to dry out. Um, it is air dry, it dries, it becomes hard, but it's sort of like a, like a stale marshmallow. It's still sort of light and fluffy, um, but it will eventually harden. One thing you could do with that Model Magic, if you want it to, is wrap it around a pencil. So if your hands get tired using pencils, you can press your fingers into the pencil the way that you would grip a pencil and then let it go and let it dry. And then when you go to write, you're, you have a nice sort of cushy grip for your pencil. So that's something a little more practical that you could do. Another thing that you could do is take this and you just do it right here. I'm gonna roll it up and make a little ball. And I'm gonna take that skewer and I'm gonna press it in on both sides until it goes all the way through. And now I've got a little bead. And I could turn that bead into a necklace by adding a string. I'm gonna go ahead and give that bead some texture by just poking it, giving it some dots. I'm gonna go all the way around. You can make as many dots as you like, or if you don't like dots, you can add lines. So again, you can just kind of play and figure out what you want to do. Okay, fix that hole now that I've poked at it. All right, so if I put it on there and let it dry and take it off, I've got a fun little bead. Or another way, maybe you want to make a necklace. All right, I'm gonna press that down. And I'm gonna poke a hole in there again, like that. And you can put a letter on there. So I'm just gonna poke, 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 and make the letter D. So you can put your initial on there. Okay, here's my letter D and let that dry. Once it's dry, I know you just have one color, yours might not be blue, it might be a different color, but you can actually paint it if you have paint, or you can color it with markers when it's dry. So if you want more colors, you can add more colors. That's perfectly fine. So I hope this gave you some ideas. Um, you can wrap this clay around something. Uh, for example, you can take some foil and kind of crumble it up and make it into a shape and then put this over it. If you want to make something a little bit bigger uh, than the amount of clay that you have here. And so just have some fun and you know, you can squeeze it. You can 
can take it apart and then stick it back together. It sticks to itself. Okay, so you could take little balls of clay and you can stack them up, sort of like building a snowman. And they will stick to each other. So try exploring some different things to do with this model magic or Play-Doh and have fun doing it. I'm gonna do one more thing and then you're, you're kind of on your own. So let's see, I'm gonna make two little snakes. You can actually, oops, stick them to that. Oh, they really like to stick together. You can take them and twist them and make it look like a rope. So instead of just leaving it as a snake, you can make a rope. Or you could push it all up and try again. Uh, but like I said, it does start to dry out. If you want it to keep, you can try putting it in a plastic bag or wrap it up, but it will, once it's opened, it will start to dry out. So have fun. Enjoy sculpting, create something interesting, create an interesting form. So because it's three-dimensional, and we can make a sphere, which is like a ball, and you can make a form, and you can sculpt. So enjoy, and I'll see you next time for art. Bye.